Good day students, you're welcome to the class. We are still on heat energy. So today we are going to continue with types of thermal expansion. Remember the last class we stopped at linear expansion as one of the types of thermal expansion. So today we are going to look at the area of superficial expansivity, expansivity and also the cubic or volume expansivity and as well expansion in liquid. So when we talk about area or superficial expansivity, beta, it is defined as the increase in area per unit, area per degree rise in temperature. What we have the representation to be beta equals to increase in area over original area times temperature rise, which is equals to change in A all over A1 in bracket of theta 1 minus theta 2, which is equals to A2, that is change in A is equals to A2 minus A1 all over A1 in bracket of theta 1 minus theta 2. So this is a formula for finding area or superficial expansivity where we have the A1 to be equals to original area, A2, new area, theta 1, initial temperature, theta 2, new temperature. Here we have an example. The question says, a metal cube of cross-sectional area, 3.45 meters square of zero degree Celsius is heated rise of 70 degree Kelvin when the final length of the cube is 3 meter find the a coefficient of superficial expansivity b coefficient of linear expansivity so we have our parameters in trying to solve the question the parameter that we are given include the a1 a1 was given to be 3.45 meter square and l2 was given to be 3 meter y change in theta was given to be 70 k remember change in theta is equals to theta 2 minus theta 1 and if you remember very well our theta 1 our theta 1 was given to be what zero i think so the initial was zero so when we subtracted the two we got 70 as our answer and our a2 is equals to l2 times l2 for us to have our a2 we have to multiply the length 2 by itself that is square it's going to give us um 3 times 3 which is equals to 9 so substituting the information into the formula we having 9 minus 3.45 all over 3.45 in bracket of 70 which is equals to 5.5 all over 241 that is 241.5 then we have our beta which is equals to area of superficial expansivity beta to be equals to 0 0.022 per kelvin or we can approximate okay no not approximation here we actually converted to standard form so when we convert it to standard form we'll be having 2.2 times 10 raised to power minus 2 per kelvin so we solve for the coefficient of um, linear expansivity so when we have that our coefficient of um, when we have that the beta is equals to 2a so here our a is equals to beta all over 2 so just divide the value of beta which is 22 2.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 2 all over 2 then our answer is 1.1 times 10 raised to the power minus 2 per kelvin so that is the answer we move to cubic or volume expansivity represented with gamma it looks like our boy is called gamma so this is defined as an increase in volume per unit volume per degree rise in temperature. So gamma is equal to increase in volume all over original volume times change in temperature. So here we'll be having the formula to be gamma equals to change in volume all over V1 in bracket of theta 1 minus theta 2 of bracket which is equal to volume 2 minus that is change in V is equal to V2 minus V1 all over V1 in bracket of theta 1 minus theta 2 
when we have our v1 to be equals to the original volume our v2 to be the final volume and our theta 1 to be our initial temperature while theta 2 is the new temperature so given the question a cube of side 10 cm is heated from 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius if the linear expansivity of the metal is 1.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin calculate the increase in the volume so first thing we have to do in solving this particular question we have to find out write out the given parameters here we are giving the L1 to be equal to that is the L1 length 1 to be equal to 10 cm and don't forget that in cube length is equal to breadth and breadth is equal to height so the volume here is going to be length times length times length that is L cubed which is equal to 10 cube hence we having 1000 cm square if you notice we converted from cm to what cm cube and the answer hence the length we'll be having we'll be having here is what 1000 cm cube so our alpha here is 1.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per kelvin while our theta 1 is is 10 degrees celsius and our theta 2 is 60 degrees celsius so our formula for solving the gamma here that is the cubic or volume expansivity whenever i say gamma know that i'm talking about civic cubic whenever i say gamma know that i'm talking about cubic or volume expansivity so gamma is equals to changing v all over v1 in bracket of theta 1 minus theta 2 so here we are actually looking for changing v for that reason we are going to make it the subject of the formula hence we'll be having this particular equation right here r in big bracket of v1 small bracket theta 1 minus theta 2 close the small bracket or in big bracket so and our r is equal to 3 multiplied by alpha so for us to find the r which is the word gamma whenever i say r no i'm talking about the gamma it's not actually r but i'm just saying it so that you can follow up so the gamma here is equal to what 3 times what 1.2 times what 10 raised to the power minus 5 per kelvin which is the value of alpha so when we multiply out we have having 3.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per kelvin so we are going to substitute the whole information into the original into the original formula hence we'll be having change in volume equals to 3.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 or in bracket we'll be substituting substituting the value of l in bracket of 60 minus 10 in bracket close the big bracket so when we simplify further our final answer will be 18 times 10 raised to the power minus 1 so note that whenever you see 18 times 10 raised to the power minus 1 it is equal to what 0 point what 1 8 hope is clear so now how we got the value by the right hand side is that we multiply 0 0.18 which is equal to 18 times 10 raised to the power minus 1 when converted to standard form we multiply it by what 10 and we have it what 1.8 cm cube hope is clear then we talk about expansion in liquid so when we talk about expansion in liquid expansion in liquid is compared with the expansion of the container because while the liquid expands, the container is equally expanded so it is important to differentiate between real and apparent cubic expansivity real or absolute cubic expansivity is represented with gamma subscript r it is defined as the increase in volume per unit volume per degree rise in temperature then when we talk about apparent cubic expansivity this is represented with what gamma subscript a it is defined as the increase in volume per unit volume per degree rise in temperature when the liquid is heated in a expansible vessel that is a tube that can expand so the formula is giving us gamma subscript r is equals to what gamma subscript a plus gamma subscript c 
So when, where the gamma subscript R is equal to what? Real or absolute cubic expansivity and the gamma subscript A is known as apparent cubic expansivity while the gamma subscript C is known as cubic expansivity of the container. So here we have an example. The question says the cubic expansivity of mercury is 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 per Kelvin and the linear expansivity of glass is 8.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 per Kelvin. Calculate the apparent cubic expansivity of mercury in a glass container. So solution, we, we have to first of all write out the given parameters and here we have the gamma subscript r oh, don't forget that gamma subscript r is known as real or absolute cubic expansivity and is giving us 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 per kelvin while our alpha is giving us 8.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 per kelvin and don't forget that our gamma is always equals to what 3 times alpha and we have our RC and our RC is always the cubic expansivity of the container and is given as 3 times 8.0 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 which is equals to what 24 when you multiply 3 by 8 it's going to give us what 24 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 per Kelvin don't forget to put the unit so for us to substitute into the formula, don't forget that formula is what? Gamma subscript R equals to gamma subscript A plus gamma subscript C. So here we substitute the, vol the value of gamma subscript R and the value is 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 5. Then we substitute the value of gamma subscript C, which is equal to 0 0.24 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. So there's an important question I would like you to note here. We are actually looking for gamma subscript A. And that gamma subscript A is known as what? Apparent cubic expansivity. So for us to find it, we have to make it the subject of the formula. That is how come we are having minus sign in between here. Because if you check the formula, we are having the formula to be the formula for finding the expansion in liquid to be what? Gamma subscript R equals to gamma a plus gamma subscript c that is gamma subscript a plus gamma subscript c so when we actually made the gamma subscript a the subject of the formula we come up with this that is gamma subscript r minus gamma subscript c hence we substituted the value and when we simplified our answer which is equal to apparent cubic expansivity is equals to 1.56 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 per Kelvin. So please, I'd like you to attend to the questions below and do have a nice day. Bye.